Okay, so here we are. You got one in? Let's take a look. Ooh, it does fit real nice, doesn't it? A little oil on here. So the moment of truth was the success. It fits perfectly, and now we're putting it together. This is the final piece. I've got a couple nuts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> and you're gonna make those more than hand tight, right? They gotta fit on pretty tight. Is there like a torque spec that you have to put on those? There or is a torque spec. And how do you do torque specs? Do you have a torque wrench, or, or is your is your hand-eye coordination, hand-brain coordination your torque spec? Um, my hand-brain is torque spec, but um, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't ever tell anybody to just like do what you feel is right. I think that most people over tighten stuff. You're not over tightening it now. I guess we'll see. How many foot pounds is it supposed to be? Well, I just tightened it up to about 35 right then. And that's how much it's supposed to be? I don't know what it's supposed to be. We should look it up real quick. Uh, okay. I'm going to deal with that baby for a second. So, what I'm doing here is I'm squeezing the compression rings to the same size as the sleeve. Come here, honey. Come here, honey. And being, being a farm boy from South Dakota, I don't really care to buy a bunch of fancy tools. Rather, I would just make my own and get the job done now rather than later. So I'm tightening these hose clamps around my taken apart. It wasn't broken. I took it apart. Uh, oil wrench. And we're going to squeeze these compression rings down with a couple of hose clamps rather than spending 50 bucks on a compression ring compressor. Just making sure we're nice and straight and even here. And what's that? Is that going to fit into a hole somewhere or what? That's look really big. How are you going to make that work? Well, I tighten this down here and it's not going to fit into the hole. It's going to stay on top of the sleeve. Okay. This is how this is going to work. Now, let's set this on here. I put, I put some oil on things already. Just double checking to make sure we don't have a rock in there. We like things to be somewhat clean. Clean and oily. This is my uh, oil can. I poke a hole in the cap because, like I said, I don't like to buy a bunch of stuff. But I still like to get it done. Okay, spread the oil around there. Slide this guy in here. Nice and easy. It's not like forcing it or anything. Now I'm going to take my favorite tool. Oh, your big fucking hammer? Yeah. <laughs> I love that thing. This is the big fucking hammer. Best I'm hammer. surprised. I'm surprised you're not asking me where it is this time. That you yeah, know exactly elusive, where it is. Elusive yeah, I know. Hammer. It's big enough that it shouldn't shouldn't be hard to find, but it is. Sometimes. See how that works? Are you confused? What? <laughs> it appears to be a magic trick, but it's actually just science. That's fit in there. Okay. Well, good job, Leroy. I. We could call it magical mechanical science. Magical mechanical science. I like the term magic. It's only magic to me. Someone else who's smart.